don't want to we don't want to miss a minute. Sharon, thank you so much for being on. Thanks, Jess. I know everyone's getting their kids sorted and and probably dinner after dinner now. We've got the three hour gap, but it's great to be on the call. And you and Lauren always run great calls, so I'm um, grateful for you and the team. I have, you asked me to share what I'm really looking forward to this year and excited about. And, you know, I have a list because there truly is so much. And first and foremost, I'm just really grateful that we have this opportunity this year to have open water. All of the of the changes and the, and the processes that we've been through are behind us. And we find ourselves in this great position. You know, I love Jim and Kathy and we've gone through a transfer of ownership and whilst we are grateful for everything Jim and Kathy taught us and brought us, I'm excited about this new ownership group, the resources they're bringing to the to the company. We've been I've been buried in some big IT meetings where they're bringing a great new group to the table for us to help us in an area that I know I know we need help in. So I'm excited about that. Just the relationships they've introduced. And their, and their commitment to isogenics. These guys are all in, very committed for the long term. They have big goals. I mean, just for them, and I've shared this in the past, just for them to break even with their investment, we need to double the size of the company today. And they have a vision beyond that. So I'm really excited about that. I love the group that the people are, and you'll get to meet them. There's six of them, including me. So we'll put a couple of them on different top 200 calls or all associate calls. So you'll get to meet them and hear a bit from each of them over the course of time. We spent the last few months helping them learn about isogenics, understand the business, what's working, where we need help. And that's been a process for us. And um, I can tell you that the largest shareholder, he said, wow, we had Dr. Asiero in in the last board meeting so they could really understand the products and just how powerful they are. We left that, we were wrapping up that board meeting and they said, we were all in, we were excited about Isagenics before. Now that we understand more about this company, I have even bigger, a bigger vision for where we're going to go. So they're very, very excited about that. I'm also really excited about the, Rebuilding the Isogenics brand story. It's our vision to create our own Blue Zone here. If you know what Blue Zones, the Blue Zone's a documentary. Robert Butner did a study for 20 years on pockets around the world where he was seeing people live beyond 100, but not just live beyond. I mean, vi- they were vital and healthy and living these full and exciting lives. And he determined some common traits that were true to each and every one of those pockets. And of course, their healthy diet, eating well, no surprises, living actively, but also connection and community, partnership, friends and family, uh, the things that they truly valued was their connection and contribution. And also their outlook, just having a purpose, having a purpose in life, waking up with a reason, to go and embrace the day. And we know when we look at all of that, we have incredible nutrition and isogenics. Of course, we all want to live active, healthy lifestyles, but that connection, that contribution is so important. And it's always been that secret weapon that we have here at Isogenics, this incredible community and the culture. And it's something that we really want to focus on. And that's why we brought back one of your favorite people and one of mine too someone who's been an absolute, solid, reliable friend to me for years. Even when he'd taken a step back from his role at Isagenics, David Wood has been uh, exemplary. And I say that because there's very few people on the planet, I could say, that has never, ever broken his word to me, has never broken his trust. And What you don't know about Dave is I know through our conversations how much he cares about all of you. Without doubt, he had other companies saying, come and train for us. Come and speak on our stage. Come and train our people and share with us the the culture and the way you invested in isogenics. And and David's decision was no way. There is no way I can do that when all the people I love and care about are in this company at isogenics. 
So we have him back in a big way. He's all in and he's really focused on pouring into the field. We just pushed out another video he made because he felt passionate about a particular topic and he really wanted to share it with all of you. So it's in the business groups, the two star and the eight star group. So grab it and take a look. The other thing I'm always excited about at Isogenics, of course, is a product development. Now, we've been hearing a lot from Paul Lassiero, and I know Holly's been very active communicating and interviewing him on social media. I've seen that. But not only really focusing on our peer-reviewed proven results, and people ask me all the time, well, what's the difference between a patented product and a peer-reviewed product? And it's plain and simple. You can get a patent on any unique idea. It just has to be a unique idea. It doesn't mean it has to work or do anything. I mean, it could be just some abstract idea and is, okay, if you get a patent, it's unique to you. A peer-reviewed product is one that's not only unique, but it's proven through third-party review and testing on human beings that it actually produces results. Guys, that's extraordinary. We just don't talk about it enough. So I love that Holly's into it with Dr. Paul and we're sharing that more. We're going to continue that. But also what we've got in store for you, the things that are coming. We'll be leading the way on on nutrients and organic natural nutrients and vitamins. And some of you who were here for the uh, retreat that Jess ran got a, got some insight into that with Dr. Plant. We're excited about that, what's to come and continue to come when it comes to product development. And of course, I'm excited about pushing more money into your hands. We're very proud of the fact that of over $9 billion in sales, we've we've pushed over $4 billion out into the field in commission to all of you, to mums and dads, to people just right now, that, that three to 500 a month would blow your mind what it could do for some people. Just getting their product paid for has always been a big driver for people. So I'm excited about that. We've made an enhancement to the Team Builder bonus where this month you'll see that your personal enrollments you get your PIB. We've given you a 50% increase in PIB this month, by the way. The 30% PIB was a 50% increase. But also that BV is going to flow down into your one PET in the team build bonus. And I'm going to give you a little scoop. Next month, we had another enhancement and they're here to stay. If you are a paid as executive, the back end of that team builder bonus will go from 91 to 365 days it will pay you 91 to 730 days, two years. Any customer that's reordering in the back end, if you're a paid as executive, you'll get paid for that over two years. Trust me, in the modeling, I saw some of those payouts grow significantly as a result. So we're going to keep finding ways to push money out into the hands of all of you who are sharing and communicating to the world about isogenics. So there's so much more there to look forward to. And of course, incentives and trips and travel, we've got some great things planned. You're going to hear some news. We have been focused on welcoming welcoming you back to your beautiful home at headquarters here. And if you get a, if you were here now, you would see plastic sheets up and painters and you'll hear maintenance because we are re we're, we're redoing the beautiful headquarters with new stories and a beautiful new look. And also the owners, the landlord are doing some updates as well, as well. But here's the issue. Some of our timelines have crossed over a little bit. And so there's a risk, there's a real risk that the air conditioning units will be down during the dates of welcome home. Trust me, you do not want to come to Arizona in May without air conditioning. So welcome home is about to become welcome aboard. We are taking you on a luxury cruise to the Bahamas, out of Fort Lauderdale, same dates, same event, same wonderful experience, but we're transferring it from our beautiful headquarters here to a luxury celebrity. It's called the Celebrity, oh, my gosh, I'll have to tell you, it's a really beautiful boat. You'll be cruising, going to the Bahamas, three nights. So first tier, same deal, all in. But the second tier where you were having to buy your own accommodation, we're paying for the accommodation and you'll get a $500 travel stipend for your flights. So it's going to be a fantastic cruise. It's a beautiful boat. Don't worry, we're not carnivaling. We're not even Royal Caribbean. We're taking it up a notch. The Royal Caribbean are beautiful. This boat is beautiful. 
So it's now welcome aboard. You're probably the first to hear about that because we had to make a decision. You know what construction and timelines and renovation, it's just too risky for you all to come in here and not have a beautiful experience. The celebration, we'll be hosting tours, we'll have receptions here, and we want you to all come and experience this beautiful new uh, experience of the Isogenics brand you'll have at your headquarters. So big news, guys, big news. Uh, so I'm excited about all of that. And then beyond that, there is a big trip incentive to the back end of the year. Three tiers. The first is an ex amazing European ex exclusive experience. The second will be an incredible trip to another location. And the third, you'll have three tiers. So so many people can enjoy that. That's coming in the, in the later stages as Welcome Home wraps up. So more money, great products. More, crew, more, more trips, more incentives, wonderful focus on training and our people with David Wood at the helm. I'm very excited about that because I started off in Australia with David when our little business down there was doing $4 million a year, a year. You do more of that than in a couple of days here. And we took it to a hundred plus million dollar business down there. And we're absolutely committed to doing the same thing here. We've got incredible leadership. So many advantages and uh, just so much to look forward to. So I'm very excited about all of that. Are there any other questions or things that you guys would like to know more of, um, hear more about? Because I could talk at you all night, but I just want to make sure I'm addressing all the things that you, you're concerned about, want to know more about, would love to hear about any of those, Jess. Well, I have questions, Sharon, but if there's anybody who has them, drop them in the chat. But I'll tell you, one question I have for you is, here we are, you've announced these great new enhancements to these bonuses. The Team Builders bonus has people shifting behavior. What's, I mean, you know leadership, you know activity. What's the advice you'd give to these people looking to grow right now in this environment? What would you be telling people to do? Well, I love that you asked that question. You know, we watched over the last few years how everything swung to online. People were, were communicating online. Social media became the, the whole focus and everyone was Zooming. There's a big shift now to people connecting again, person to person. People feel far more valued and seen when you're having that one-on-one -on -one conversation versus large group conversations, hearing each other's voices and actually sitting down for coffee. So what we're seeing with the businesses that are doing very, very well is they're very focused on events. I can tell you, I looked at, there's, there's some businesses growing really quickly here in the US, the Canadian group, they're absolutely crushing it. And, and there's a group in Australia and they're all doing exactly the same thing. They're having a number of small events in homes, in offices, in small locations. And then once a month, they're coming together and bringing everyone together and having a larger style of Super Saturday. And they're doing that over and over and over again. I was talking to Tristan the other day. He told me he had 17 events on this week, not him personally, through his team. There were 17 events on that particular week, ranging from little in-homes, small office meetings, and then once a month they get together in a central location and they all show up group that's really doing great in Australia. They're doing exactly the same thing. Every Monday night, the ladies get together, they're meeting, they're having more and more of those people are doing that. And they're really seeing that grow, that in-person connection. People are hungry for that. And there's nothing like sitting in a room and seeing other people and hearing other people's stories and learning from other people. That's really bringing uh, people together in a way that we haven't seen that over the last few years because we've been Zooming. And yes, people have been a little bit reluctant to get out of their homes, but learning how to invite people, learning how to ask people to come and offer them the opportunity to come. Not everybody wants to come for the same reason. If you know that Denise loves to have a great time and she's social, tell her about that. Hey, I've got a great group of ladies. You'll love them. We have a great laugh. Everyone has a fantastic time. Come along and just meet them. If I know Jessica really loves information about, Jess, I know you're really into nutrition. We'll talk a lot about the products so you can understand these incredible scientific studies that we have and the results that are coming. And then if I know Erica is really into 
business and money. Hey, Erica, come along. We'll share with you how this business actually works and you'll see it on a much, you'll, you'll, you'll get the big picture. And I think that would be really helpful for you. So just come along and worst case scenario, we'll have a good time and you'll meet a couple of wonderful ladies. Knowing what really connects with, with each person and learning how to invite them in a way that feels valuable to them is something we'll be really focusing on teaching. And we've got some great content. We'll be sharing that with you. So I love seeing these events pop up in the chat. You'll see more and more big one in Kansas in June. Um, one in Montreal, if you want to come along, it'll be similar. You'll have translation so you can hear French and English. It'll sound very romantic, I'm sure. So we've got that going on. But that is something, Jess, that I'm seeing in all of those people whose businesses are growing right now, mm -hmm. seeing those events and not just you having them, but watching, helping other people. Just have simple ones, simple get-togethers, not a big deal. And it's really changing the game. Nothing you know, I was reading some, I was chatting with Dave, we were talking about some stats, it was the American Psychologi Psychology Association said that the loneliness is one of the, has one of the biggest impacts on people's health and well-being. Mm -hmm. They're saying now that lonely, chronic loneliness has the same physical impact on your health, smoking cigarettes, can you believe that? And 60% of the population today, lonely. So that is something that people are looking for a solution to. They don't even know it. You will have the greatest retention tool you will ever have are those relationships and connections. Yeah. People, I mean, even if, yeah, even if they're not interested in the business, they want to plug in. They want to feel a part of something. And you've got something pretty special in this group alone. Just think about the relationships you have, the friendships you have as a result of joining this particular community. So you're very lucky. How about Sharon? What would you say to people that have felt some discouragement? And I think there's, I think that's, I mean, we're seeing it across the world. People feel this discouragement. What, what would you say to the isogenics builder who's felt discouragement? I think feeling discouraged over the last few years. I mean, it's inevitable, right? There's been so much happening. And what I would say is for those of you who think logically, think about this. Can our products, do our products work? We know they do. We know our products truly add value to people's lives. Absolutely. When people plug into the community, do they feel connected? Do they, does it add value to their life? Absolutely. And if people can, can understand the financial rewards, how to get their product paid for, what really matters to them, then you can go to sleep at night knowing when you talk to someone about isogenics that either one of those three things is going to bring value to their life. So you've probably had people leave. You've probably heard no's. You've probably had the promise of, I'm going to bring in two people and my business is going to run fast. Maybe you've seen your cycles go up and you've seen your cycles come down. No matter what business you're in, no matter what business you're in, Amazon has gone through it. Look at look at their share price over time. Microsoft has gone through it. You can see it in their share price over time. And Isogenics has most definitely gone through it. There is not a business on the planet that doesn't have some of these peaks and troughs. But if you're earning, sit back and think about what your cycles are each and every week, what continues to flow through. There would be a point of time in your life if you said, wow, if I had $500 a month coming into my family, I'd feel grateful for that. But we're often discouraged because at one point it was $1,000. We've been through a pandemic. We've been through a transfer of ownership. We've been through unfortunate behavior from the industry with, with competitors trying to tear companies down. And it's, it's, it's an unfortunate and distasteful part of the industry. But it happens. It happens in every industry. We are finally in clear water. We're finally through all of that. We've got all of that behind us. And you're watching a lot of companies go through that now, not just in our industry, not just in our industry, but business as a whole. We're hearing about their layoffs. We're hearing about their adjustments. So I was just, I was reading some articles about businesses in my hometown in Australia and cost of living has gone up. Mm. But you're with a company and you have a business that has weathered all of those storms. It's not something to be afraid of. It's not something to be sad about. That's something to feel good about. 
mm. because now we get the, the ability to, to, to continue to build again, to tell a new story. We've got a great new brand story coming to share with all of you. People care more about their health and well-being now than they ever have. People care more about longevity and understanding what can I really do to live fully and happily. And if you can show someone how to introduce a small side income into their lives and, and share with them how it works and be realistic and be authentic, then you will have, and you collaborate with that person and stand side by side, you'll have a relationship that lasts. So this business has weathered so many storms. It has been through, we went through it in 2008, guys. We went through it in 2008. There was an economic crisis. It was a challenging years, but the years ahead were the best years we ever had. We went through it again, and as are many companies now, and I truly believe that 2024 will be a year where the company stabilizes and starts small incremental growth. 2025 will be back on, on that curve. It's a part of life. It's a part of business. I've never, there is no company on the planet. There is no business on the planet that just goes like that. Yes. I was reading an article about the Stanley Company. So oh my gosh. Stanley Company. And yes. that Stanley Cup changed everything. And you think about the, ma the maker of Scrub Daddy lives about an hour from the guy who invented Scrub Daddy. And just to think about what that company went through. And then they introduced Scrub Mommy and then the Scrub the Holder, Scrub Daddy Holder. And it's like, wow, you were the reinvention and reimagination. And we talked about this just for everybody who wasn't at the leadership retreat. We talked with Sharon about the reimagination of what Isogenics looks like going forward, this above the line sort of reimagination and to be on the part of that. I, I wouldn't have hated to leave Stanley, to leave equity in Stanley, my stock in Stanley, right before they made an introduction of the vote, most viral product that probably the world has seen in the last three or four years. The Stanley Absolutely. product. And so and, you have a chance to be part of it. Yeah, I'm 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 with you on that, Jess. And we have just seen, you know, so many companies go through the changes and and it's important for you all to know that you that this company can weather the storms because they'll come again. Absolutely. We'll have some clear, clear air and smooth sailing for years and challenges will come again. It's the nature of business and being able to ride through that makes you better. What I know for certain as well is that people will move away from pain, will do more to move away from pain than they will to move towards pleasure. And so it's it, it, part of the conversation for you is to really understand what's driving people in your business. Yes. What are they really, what's that nail? We talk about they're sitting on a nail. What's that nail? Is it the fact that they're in a job that they hate? Is it the fact that they know that their health is not where it needs to be and they just haven't found a person to help, you know, give them an offer of, of, of isogenics? Really understanding what it is that is causing people the most concern, what's keeping them up at night, and then offering, making them an offer, how you can help them. Be authentic, really connect with people, and you have to understand what is that nail? What's really poking and pressing them? And it, it will be the three key stresses in the world. You'll guess it. Number money, work, and health. Yeah. Do you have a solution? Can you help people? who are stressed about their health, are stressed about their work and have financial stress. Those three stresses are real for everybody on the planet. Find out which one is the nail that is poking into that person that you care about or that you're working with and help them make an offer and help them find the answer in Isogen. That's it. what we're truly all about. Sharon, you're amazing. This was terrific. Exactly what we needed. I love it. I know you have another call to jump to. So guys, can you just give Sharon some love in the comments and just let her know how special she is. And we are so grateful to have a female badass CEO like Sharon Walsh. We are so lucky. You're Sharon, awesome, guys. You. you do a great job of supporting your teams. Super, super grateful to have some time with you all tonight. Thanks again. Look forward to uh, some more great things in 2024. We're awesome. You're awesome. Hey guys, so stay on real quick. I'm going to do some recognition from last week. I want to do some quick announcements. I want to just honor Brandy Brokaw had gotten me on two calls. And just to echo what Sharon's saying about people looking for this. One of the calls that I did for Brandy was a Zoom call. It was impromptu on Friday. The woman is stunningly beautiful, 
complete entrepreneur. I mean, she started telling me about the companies that her and her husband have. She has online fitness. A million people have asked her to do network marketing, but I just want to honor that Brandy connected with her. And she described this authentic vulnerability that Brandy had. And Brandy offered her and, and introduced her to Isagenix. And she said, the timing could not have been better. Some of the business that they have, they have a brick and mortar nutrition store, vitamin type store. And she's like, it just wasn't, it wasn't it. People are buying online. They have kind of boutique, but boutique type products. They've got some things in the automotive industry. And she just said, I was looking for something else. So many people have asked me to do network marketing. It's always been a no. Brandy's authenticity, just her heart and the timing was perfect. So I just want to reinforce that just listening to her speak and I'm just looking at this woman going like, I would, anyone would chase you down the road to do whatever you told me to do. Complete Brandy, right? Am I right? I took a picture of her and I was like, you on a Zoom, you can snap a picture without someone knowing. You're like, usually you don't look good. Oh no, she looked freaking great. Jess, can I just say, I mean, she's 52 years old and you just stare at her. Like, I'm like, I'm sorry, I'm staring, but this cannot be real. Like, I, like Jimmy Smith, I need your ID, but she is Jess. She's amazing. She, listen, guys, your people are there. And I say this all the time. I mean, like I've been, my word for the year is intentional. And I have been so intentional at just speaking the vision, telling people what my goal is. And I just tell them straight up. God told me this is the season to gather the greats and you're great. And you guys, just today, I had a phone call. If I could just say this real quick, uh, I'm serious. The way that God is lining up these super amazing humans ready to go waiting and praying for an opportunity. And mm -hmm. literally that's why we have to be ready the word says it in season and out of season. Sometimes it feels like, you know, I'm doing, you know, doing things like just like the cyclical part of this business. But if you just stay steady, your people will come around. And I'm telling you, speak directly to them. Let them know what you're doing. Let them know how they have to take a peek at it. So we're just turning this. And I'm saying, listen, I'm building on my backyard and I've and I've been building it globally right? But now I'm doing it in my backyard and we're absolutely linking arms with the greatest of the greats. And I just told, I said, let's fill rooms. Let's, let's fill bathrooms. I don't care where we're at. Starbucks rooms, like just said, you know, like when you called me the other day, you're like, they're coming off the trains, the planes and the automobiles. You guys, that's the kind of faith that you have to have, that you've got this, that you, you can't even mess it up, right? Because at the end of the day, just like Sharon just said, these people are literally looking for like something to transform their money, their wealth, their, their health, right? And then also, listen, this community, we are the best of the best. I mean, just like, I want to just say this, Jessica at our mastermind, if y'all were there, y'all know, she crushed it, mm. crushed it. And she just, you are the greatest trainer. And I just want to edify you in that. Like the way that you speak, the way that you teach, the way that you motivate, the way that you just check in and check up. Y'all, there's nothing better than letting people know that you love them, letting people know that you're thinking about them, letting people for no good reason at all. And Jessica, you have taught us well. I say this all the time that I wouldn't be here if it wouldn't be for your guidance and your leadership. And then I look around and I'm looking at all of you guys on this screen and I feel so incredibly thankful. I mean, like I needed something today from Lauren. I'm sure like it was like a, a you know, a kindergarten type question and she was just there for me. Thank you, Lauren. You know, and I look around and I'm like, yo, we, are you ready? Are you ready to grow? Are you ready to receive this next wave that's coming up? Who are you working with? Speak to that. You know, and I've I've been feeling alone. I don't know if you guys, but there was a season I was feeling alone and going to that mastermind, getting these events stirred up, being there with Julie and Jack and Denise. And, you know, um, we were just all in, right? And and Dawn and Holly and Ann, they did a phenomenal job, y'all. And this is what we are attached to, the greatest of the great. And there you are, Jess, right up there doing what you're called to do. Listen, guys, you're called for such a time as this. I'm called for such a time as this. We are called for such a time as this. And Jess, I just wanted to add that because you're right. I mean, I'm like telling everybody, I'm just grabbing everybody that literally hits my soul when I see them. I'm like, wow, 
Like, are they harnessing their influence? And that's what you're talking about, Heather. 52 years old, has all the stuff, but she's still looking. And you know what she said? She told me, she said, Brandy, I'm not doing this for the money. I'm doing this. She goes, that's going to be nice and we're going to make it. She said, but I'm doing this because I need this community. What y'all just, what I think it was Sharon or you just said, said about the loneliness. The loneliness is like smoking cigarettes. People need love and they need light. And that's what we do. So good job, team win. I love it. It's amazing. And thank you, Jessica, for always being there to take the calls and be there for me. I appreciate you. Oh gosh, I, I we appreciate you. I also Ann White dropped a video of her sharing at the retreat, and you got to hear what she says in there. The things how she exits a coffee shop. Now you got to work up to be. We got to all practice to be Ann White. But she just described how she'll leave a coffee shop and she'll see someone who looks like her people, and she'll say, "Oh wow, you look amazing. How do I not know you?" I want to know you. She described how she does it and how she did it was so perfect. Certainly it's Ann White has her own brand of like extending love like that to strangers. But honestly, there's a way to do this that anyone can do it and just say, hey, I have to tell you, you look awesome. We don't stop and tell each other that when women don't tell each other, they look great enough. And I'm stopping to tell you, you look amazing. Nothing weird about that. In fact, do you understand how that could fill the empty soul of someone who's having a bad day? Just stop and just pour love. You will literally turn their whole day into something so positive. So I just want to honor both Brandy and Anne for just sharing the goodness. But I want to also, speaking of honoring people, I want to just honor some recognition across Dreamers in Action. We had some great enrollers last week from Dreamers in Action, Keith Laurie, Jenny Thompson, Heather Randall, M. Sutherland, Empress Rising, Nicole Stores, and Denise Gold, all in action Team win, we had a do crystal manager, Karen Brown, girlfriend hit crystal manager. And our girl, Lisa Heron, hit manager, top enrollers, four enrollments, Meredith Vanderzee in Iowa. She just rocks and rolls. And there you go, three enrollments, Brandy Brokaw, Sophia Lozano Maris. Just awesome, guys. Great, great week. Just a couple of announcements for you all because I want to make sure everybody knows about this. 30% PIB was extended till this Sunday, March 17th, St. Patrick's Day. Let people know I'm running a St. Patrick's Day special. Get it in. We got to go. By this Sunday, you get 30% cash for new orders. Introduce as many people as you can this week. Three more weeks to qualify for the Welcome Home Challenge, which you all just heard is a cruise. Denise probably knows the cruise line. I didn't hear what she said, but she said it's more premium than Royal Caribbean and Paradise, whatever she said, awesome. If you're paid as consultant or above, you keep working on your TBB, your team builder's bonus. And you can check your status on the leaderboard in the back office. And then you can take your business to the next level with a masterclass. The next one is in Montreal, May 24th and 25th. The tickets are only $49. So if you feel like visiting one of the most beautiful places, Montreal, Canada, it's so gorgeous there. For old Montreal, the whole thing. It's such a beautiful trip. And that is going to be an awesome masterclass in an area that is having epic growth. And guys, I mean, when success leaves clues, this one's knocking me over the head. Everybody that's growing right now is getting into events. They're just having people just informal, formal, no big deal. Come over to my spot, meet me at a salon. Let's do something at a, at a, a boutique. They're just doing it. Just making no excuses and just doing the events and it's working. I, I'll tell you, I'll end with this. Something that really hit me over the head. And honestly, I can't stop thinking about it. And it's been weeks since I heard it. But Joel McNinch, a lot of you know Joel, such a great guy. Joel McNinch asked the couple in Montreal, guys, what are you doing to be having this kind of growth? They made $15,000 in the TBB last month, $15,000. And I think they're set to earn 30 this coming month. So he said, what have you guys been doing? And this is their answer. Everything that you guys stopped doing. Well, that hit. So I don't know about you guys, but we used to do events every single Monday. We used to do events all the time, at least quarterly. We'd have a super a opportunity type meeting at a hotel or somewhere bigger. We'd have a quarterly event. We stopped doing it. It's about time we get back into gear. And I don't know if anybody else is feeling me. I know Erica is. I know Anna and Holly are. I know Brandy's getting back in. I know Kim and Ashley are headed to a do some Super Saturday. I know Denise Wiggins is doing a Super Saturday. I know a lot of people from Lawrence team are getting in the groove. 
I don't, I wouldn't be surprised Frank, my guy, Frank powerhouse is getting into it. So I know Lauren's been doing it the whole time, even having a newborn baby. So that is my challenge to myself and to all of you is we just, we just start doing events. We just start getting together. Hey, you want to meet me at the coffee shop? Let's get a bunch of people together, bring some friends. I, I want to, I said, I was going to end with that, but one other thing that I just learned, and I'm always learning from you guys. But when I was talking to that woman for Brandy, Heather, she said to me, Hey, yeah, we're going, I said, have you met Jeff? He's so amazing. I love Brandy's husband, Jeff. And she goes, Oh yeah. Love Jeff. We're going out as couples next week. And Brandy challenged me. She said, find another couple to bring along. I never heard of such a thing, but I was like, is Brandy some kind of genius? She's literally telling the girl, bring me a prospect. We're going to call it a couple's date. We're going to have a great time. And hallelujah. We're going to literally bring them along and let them see the fun and culture and community. Is she not a genius? I thought that was so smart. The girl goes, I'm looking for a couple. And I mean, she won't have to look far. Her and her husband, I was like, you're like at a modeling convention. You're so fun and cool. I, but there's couples probably lined up at your door for with interviews and resumes ready to rock. Like I want to be picked. So in any event, I just thought you just are so smart. Um, I just, I, I thought I was so grateful for this team. I was reflecting back on the retreat and just, if, if you didn't see any video footage of this, Jordan Lee and Julie Westall got up and the room was like, you could have, drop the pin people were like notes crazy the genius and value that they dropped and I just look across these teams and I just see unbelievable wells of brilliance genius and potential unbelievable and I just see favor touching so many of you and made lights turn green may every door swing wide open and people that you never expected just may they say yes to the community the opportunity the health the money the freedom. So I'm just grateful for all of you. I hope this call blessed you. Let's get the recording out to people and just really just get this rocking next level. If it's to be, it's up to you. It's up to me. Have a great night, guys.